I do. Uh, there, there was another show, so I got to keep it short. But I'm going to do a really quick, uh, quick, quick. I'm going to try to do a quick version of this song. And he's a photographer. He took the picture of Justin Timberlake on the cover of uh, that sexy back album cover. Where he's smashing the globe. Yeah. Anyways, somebody's, somebody's like, oh yeah, you should go to that guy's website because he's like blowing a load on some hot model chick. And he's <laughs> like, It took me three months to remember that, but I finally got on there. Anyways, there's a bunch of disturbing shit on there. One of the things is like Batman and Robin with their dicks hanging out. And they're making out. Good dicks. Good solid dick work on these cars. Two hefty, chunky cocks. Anyways, while I was singing the song, that's the, all I could see was that these guys making out with their Batman and Robin costume with their big, huge cocks and Can't ever unsee that. That'll always be there. Every time I sing this song, probably that'll just be singing that. But it reminded me of something else. I was, uh... I was working out. I was working out. That's funny. In the past, somewhere, and uh, my uh, the guy who whenever stands over me and yells at me, trainer, he uh, he asks me horrible things uh, to take my mind off the pain of the workout. And one of the most horrible things he asked me was, "Okay, oh, all right, if you had to choose, who would you choose? Like, if you had to." Either go down on your mom or suck your dad's dick. And in order to really like evaluate that decision, you have to like create some mind video and really kind of go through it. And now all I can see is my mom's pussy. And like, oh, what would that be like? And my mom's big. She's old. They're both in their seventies. But if I, if I had to think about it, I'm like, if it was me, like, I hadn't really thought about it for a while, I was like, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with the dick on this thing. <laughs> I just I don't know if I can recover. I'm going down on my mom. Maybe I could, if I could do, actually. There's a choice between sucking my dad's dick and eating my mom's ass out. I go, I go with my mom's ass. I don't know if that's, that's about me as a 
person. God damn it. That's where I'm at on it. Anyways, that's what was going through my mind when I was seeing the last verse. Well, I turned to Robin and I said, Yeah, buddy, it's getting kind of late. I gotta find me a Dallas girl before I start to lose it. This little old place, and we, I've said some shit tonight that I really wish I wouldn't have said. It. <laughs> they carved a rod in at the door, they asked about his age, and he just lied. I went up to the bar and ordered myself a Coke and Jack. That's when I felt a strong hand on the back of my back. I turned around and I dropped a drink, and there was a girl there in the make. She's about the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. I think I introduced her to Rob and I said, This little fucker's name is Rob, but hey, uh, baby, I'm the Batman. She can call her mom. Well, I promised to behave, we went back to the Bat Cave, and she took one look at my place, and well, she started to rave. Then she gave me a nice kiss and she said, Hey, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna slip out of some of these clothes so we can relax. Well, she left the room for a minute and I threw in some nice tunes. Opened up the skylight so we could look at the moon. But when she came back in, she had a big old whip in her hand. Turns out she was a psychotic, crazy ass fucking cow, man. And she started chasing me around. She was screaming that she wanted me dead. I had to pick up my batarang. Hit her right in the head, and she went out like a light. I said, oh man, what a night. I had to drag her down to the Dallas Police Department with a rock her tie. And as I was leaving, the sergeant looked at me and said, son, you've done a fine job. I said, I know. I'm Batman. Did you call me back? 